examiners are there to look for what you can do. And in the examination, we usually do their best to put you at your ease. What they are focusing on can be broken up into these areas. Your musicianship, how expressive your playing is, the quality of sound you're producing, and your understanding of the style of your pieces. Your technical assurance, how much you're in control of the piano, so that you can convey musical ideas effectively. Your accuracy, how accurate your playing is in both notes and rhythms, as well as the performance directions in your music. Your sense of performance, how you communicate the music as a performer. The marking for each of these aspects will depend on the grade you are doing. In each grade, there is not only an increase in technical demands, but a greater degree of musical awareness is expected as well. For example, in the early grades, you may gain a pass even if your playing is not particularly expressive, but is technically assured. By grades 6 to 8, correct notes and timing will be expected, and you must be able to show a firm understanding of phrasing, expression and musical style. Otherwise, you are unlikely to pass. Make sure you have a copy of the current syllabus, as requirements do change, and check the scales, oral and sight reading to be prepared, as well as the pieces, so that you can assess whether working towards the exam is a reasonable goal. Take time to select your exam pieces carefully, choosing pieces you will enjoy playing and that are suited to your hands. After all, exam preparation should be a pleasurable experience, which is simply a part of your general musical development. Check your local library with regard to books, scores and recordings of the composers you are studying and their contemporaries. For example, if you are studying Mozart, listen to his operas and the music of Haydn so that you become more familiar with the classical style. Also take every opportunity to listen to other interpretations of your exam pieces.